Onassis. Kill him. I dropped the nuke on his dummy. Whole lobby mad. I dropped the nuke on his dummy. Whole lobby mad. Uh, yeah. Onassis still there at the top. Boy, you know that nuke really about to drop. I call him Mantis Hella Chopper. Strike team three times. Boy, I swear these streets keep coming and they really won't stop. On fire range doing damage to you. With the vapor, boy, I really had to do you. Diamond camo flex with the gun is humming. She talking to me, get to the money. And baby told me, put your ass to sleep. Yeah, you see all that trash talking in the lobby before the game. Get you nowhere, baby. Get your nuked on. Uh, get out of the corner, play boy. Yeah, I dropped the nuke on this dummy. Whole lobby man. I dropped the nuke on this dummy. Whole lobby man. Yeah. Onassis still there at the top. Yeah. Onassis there still at the top. Cardboard Onassis still at the top. COD show podcast about to drop. Kill. Shout out to everybody fucking with the car show. It's the murder show, baby. Welcome to the COD show. COD show. COD show. Yeah. Welcome to the COD show. Player. Let's see if we can do this intro in one take. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Sir. yes, yes. Hey. Welcome back to the COD show podcast. I'm your host, Diddy Onassis, a.k.a. Onassis. Kill him. That's right. O-O. Nassis. Kill him. Special guest in the building. Ah. Episode number 44. Just like the president, baby. The president of Call of Duty is in the building. The card father, I like to call him. Ha. Ah. Ah. Let's talk about him real quick. Let's give a, let's give a, give you the rundown. I'm going to give you the rundown about my man, if you don't know about him. All right, over 763 videos. We already know it's more, because sometimes the cream has to rise to the, to the top. You know, we'll talk about that. Over 5,100. Oh my bad. Over 5,168 loyal subs. Okay. Booyaka. The creator of classic. That's right, classic series like Spiritual Sundays. Uh. Corner Campus Exposed. Ah. Uh. Hey. And I know I'm missing a couple others. But hey, he gives the dopest, honest reviews in the Call of Duty community, in the YouTube community. Know about it. Hey, a card boy. True and true. Hard nosed vet. My guy. The murder show. Mr. Mercy Badass. What's happening, man? Throwing through, man. Kill throwing through. What's the goddamn deal, killer? Hey. We in this bitch, my nigga. Yes, sir. Shout out, bro. You done the goddamn thing. I like that intro, man. <laughs> Appreciate it. I that like playboy. that intro. Appreciate that playboy. Drill with it, trill with it. And yes. stay with it. Yes, sir. Guaranteed we gonna drill with it, nigga. What's happening? The murder show, man. The COD show podcast. Murder show, COD show. See what's going happening. Down, man. Man. See what's happening. It's going the fuck down. Hey man. I appreciate you coming on the show. My pleasure, bro. My pleasure. Blessing us with your effervescence, your infinite knowledge. Hey, man. Glad. My pleasure. I like how you do your thing, man. Keep putting it down. You know what I'm saying? Interview all these motherfuckers. Whoever don't want to do the show, the fuck them, man. Keep it pushing. And you do. And you do that. That's right. You know what I'm saying? It's a real salute to real, man. That's right, man. The show must go on. The show must go on. But you know what? I'm in my Black Ops 4 shirt. I think I need to change change my attire. It's that time. Ah. Uh, I gotta change my shirt, bro. It's only right. Hold up. Hold up. Boy, Give me I got one that second. Classic. Give me one second. Shout out to Diddy on Nations, man. Real niggas do real things. Shirt so comfortable. It's so comfortable. The Egyptian spray. cotton, only the best cotton. The black and the red, finest threads. Yeah. <laughs> That's a fact, man. Ooh, shit, this thing feel good, man. Murder Show, what can we get these, man? What can we find shirts like this? Bro, I keep a donation link in the in the description of every stream, bro. All right. 
I mean, not a donation. What I'm talking about? A merchandise link in the description <laughs> of every live stream, bro. I should be dropping it in every video, but I always forget. That's right. Yeah. Check out Mercer's Badass Merch Store. Merch Store, we're going to flash it across the screen. You know how we do it. But let's talk about it, man. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, man. Let's do it, man. Let's get into the world, the mind of a real Call of Duty killer, Merciless Badass, a.k.a. The Murder Show. 18. I talk to myself all the time, pretending that I'm on interview. Now, tonight, <laughs> mama, we gonna find the door. <laughs> we got a real interview. I'm not talking to myself. <laughs> hey, nah, man. That's real, man. 18 and over Call of Duty. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I had to come with it. Too many fucking kid challenges. Too many hey guys and PG-13. Now, actually, these motherfuckers G-rated. It was too much of that shit. Too much teen spirit on the tool. I had to come with some grown man shit, bro. And you know what? It's weird that you mentioned that. And I say it's weird because Call of Duty is 18 and over, right? It was a 17. I can't remember. No, it's supposed to be 18. It's mature, ain't it? Right. Rated mature. Rated mature. It's 18 and up. Yes. So, I mean... I already know hey, you, you know what I'm talking about. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, they putting all this candy shit in the game that's made clearly made for children. Right. In in a grown man's game. I know. What yeah. a what a wicked how, how wicked, huh? Yeah. Not only Praying on the children. And not only that, YouTube is quick to flag your your mature content, even though you're streaming a mature game. All right. Hey, yeah. I ain't gonna lie though. I only got, I ain't never got fucked with by my mature content except one time. One drunk stream oh, many right. eons ago. About a year after the stream, I got hit with an age restriction, which all that means you got to click OK that you 18 to watch it. OK. One time out of 700 plus uploads. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So please let y'all tongue roll. Stop feeling like you can't cuss. Yeah. Man, fuck with us, bro. We real. Salute to that. Y'all gonna let them punk niggas kill y'all, man. <laughs> Let's talk about it, Merc Merciless Bad I'm gonna tell them niggas keep their dick out, but I can't hit my pause button. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't <laughs> let these motherfuckers pull your nuts, man. I'm gonna have to borrow it. I'll hit it for you. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> it's going down. What's good, though? Let's talk about it. your first impressions of the Call of Duty. Uh, the Call of Duty series. The Call of Duty gang. When, is, when, when did you first encounter Call of Duty? What was your first experience like, man? Man, that's a good question. I've answered this when I was talking to myself many times. Bro, it was way back. I was still on the PS2. Okay. I was looking for a real war experience. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had played the shit out of Grand Theft Auto, all these type of games, experiencing all these different, you know, Kane and Lynch. I'm tripping. Kane and Lynch is I that? was looking. Who's that? I, that's, I'm skipping. I'm skipping. That ain't that hadn't happened yet. Yeah. But I was looking for a real war experience. I was buying games like Tom Clancy, Ghost Recon. Yep. All type of war games. I would just go to GameStop and just pick up a shooter. I was looking for that real war experience to where I really felt like I was in battle. You know what I'm saying? Word. And I never could find it until one day I, I went to GameStop and instead of looking on the cheap wall, I paid attention what was behind these niggas. And they had a big ass display for Call of Duty, big red one. Okay. That was the first PS, the first Call of Duty game made for the PS, for the PlayStation. And that was the PlayStation 2, if I ain't mistaken. All right. And I fell in love, man. That was before I even found multiplayer. When I played that shit, I was totally satisfied. I yeah. was so satisfied that I felt like I had shell shock. That's how real That's shit how real was. That's how real it was, okay. And I fell in love with it, man. Yes, sir. Which title was that? Was that Call of Duty 2? Or? It was Call of Duty Big Three. Red One. Big it Red. was called Big Red One. But see, Call of Duty was first only made for Xbox and PC. Okay. And then after Call of Duty 2, but before Call of Duty 3, they released Big Red One for the PS3. And then when Call of Duty 3 came out, it was released for all the consoles. PS, PlayStation, Xbox, and, con and console. Call of Duty 3 was the first one that was universal across all platforms. Damn, okay. Yeah. And from that title, you moved on to Call of Duty 4, which, which did that introduce the multiplayer? Yeah, that, that honestly, I got introduced to multiplayer on Kane and Lynch. That's why I say I skipped ahead. Kane when and I bought, Lynch. When I bought my PS3, I was shell shocked because I had already just played Big Red One. And as soon as I got done with Big Red One, Call of Duty 3 came out. Yeah. And I, I bought that. I, I played that out. So when I got my PS3, 
I was tired of playing Call of Duty. I was shell shocked. Can't I wanted to. That's a what the hell is that? Might not to cut you off. I forgot the name of that that, that title. Is it Kane and Lynch? Kane and Lynch. Kane yeah. And Lynch. It's a badass game, bro. I think I played that. So when I got my PS3, I bought shit like Kane and Lynch, Stranglehold, all kind of shit. Dude was trying to sell me. He's like, yeah, you heard of Call of Duty? I'm like, yeah. I was like, man, I'm gonna get that shit later. I wasn't. I hadn't discovered multiplayer yet, right? Mm-hmm. So I got my games and shit, and I, I beat Kane and Lynch. It was my favorite game, and when it was done, I tried out multiplayer. It was like you start off as a, like you and four other players. Y'all finna pull off a heist, like rob a fucking bank, right? Rob a jewelry store, rob a nigga fucking drug deal or something, right? It's one life to live. If you die, you respawn as a cop. It was dope. I tried it out. I fell in love with multiplayer. And then it hit me. Oh shit. Call of Duty multiplayer? I hauled ass to GameStop to get Modern Warfare. When I realized how dope it would be. Yes, sir. I've been hooked ever since then, man. Modern Warfare. Yes, sir. Modern Warfare. Salute to that, man. Your first. And ain't no game like Call of Duty. Ever since I found Card, I've been in love. There's no game like Card, and I ain't getting paid to say that shit, bro. Listen. So send, send me a motherfucking check, bitches. Send hey. me a motherfucking check. Holla. They need to send me a check. Send me fuck niggas check. Send me a motherfucking check. That's all right. That's right. I'm going to get my check, Diddy. You think I'm going to get my check? That's right. It should be balanced, man. I'm going to get that check. Watch. You going to get it? They going to fuck with a raw nigga. Watch. I'm going to be the first raw nigga they all fuck with openly. Watch this shit. Hey, salute to that, man. The evolution of the game. The evolution of... I mean, like you're saying, it should be, I think it should be balanced, okay? If you're going to pay all the goody two-shoes, you got to have... You got to have, uh, you know... The other Where end the of the grown folks. Yeah, the grown folks. the grown folks. Where the grown folks at? Yeah, it's dollars. Dog, we the ones make the money. Kids so, ain't making the money. They dated for the money. It's so much value in what you do, man. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I don't know if anybody else can recognize that. I don't know what they're looking for, but it's value in what you do. You Appreciate see it every it. night during your live Appreciate streams, it. man. Appreciate it. That's how I feel. Salute to that, man. The murder show. Fuck with yes, it. Sir. <laughs> Fuck with me. Huh? Hashtag. Hashtag. You say, that's just some real shit. That's what niggas say in Texas, man. Fuck with me. That's yeah. Just, that's just, you know, that means fuck with a nigga. I can't even put it in other words. They mean fuck with me. Do business with me. Holla at me. Yeah. Call me. Pass by. Patronize me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fuck with me. Check my shit out. Hit, click play. Click the like button. Like when you watch, also click the like button. Yeah. That's fucking with me. Yeah. And for those of you that are watching now during this live stream of this Show the COD Show podcast featuring Merciless Badass, aka the Murder Show, eighteen and be up, show. Call of Duty, kill him. Be show, bitch. Go ahead and hit the share button, man. Don't be afraid to hit that share button. Pimp slap as well the as piss the like out button. of it. Yes. Pimp slap the piss out of it unless you got a limp in your wrist. Yeah. That's what I tell you, bitch. if you got a limp in your wrist, tap it. Just tap it. You consistently slap it if you got a limp in your wrist. It's, <laughs> all, it's gonna be okay. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we gave of- room for everybody, man. We love everybody. Speaking of your. Merciless badass, your gamer tag. Was that was that your was that always your gamer tag? Nah, man, I, I evolved. My first my first gamer tag evolved from my profile name back on the PS One and PS Two when you would play a game and you would have to make a profile. Yeah, and you had to name it. I would name it Murderous. 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 Right. So when I got a PS Three and I went online, I was Murderous. But it was spelled with all U's because murderers was already taken up. M U R D U R U R S is what have the fuck. Okay. And then I played a couple. I played Card Four and 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 World at War like that. And then I decided I evolved and World at War became a beast. So okay. then I I stretched it. I came, became Murderous Rage. Murderous Murderer rage. still stays spelled the same, but then with Rage after. It. Okay. I rocked that out for a few cards and then I got bored with it and I came up with Merciless Badass. Mainly because murder was wasn't spelled right. I wanted a dope name that was spelled right. It really fucked with me. I probably would have been murderous rage forever, but I couldn't spell it right. So I became merciless badass. Uh, right okay. before uh, at the end of Ghost, I think, or the end of Infinite Warfare. I mean, uh, Advanced Warfare. Advanced Warfare. Yeah, yeah, one of them. Yeah, one of them. Okay, salute to that man. Salute to the evolution of the game of tag. Uh, it's an ever growing process. It's serious to me. It's yeah. serious to me. You I'm know. that nigga who, if you got a dope game of tag yeah. that's spelled right and you don't have no numbers in it, right. I'm gonna send you a friend request simply because you're original. Yeah, you Gladiator Fresh. Right. Not Gladiator Fresh 0073. You are the Gladiator Fresh. You yeah. see what I'm saying? I fucks with that, bro. I'm so weirdo, man. 
You know what? I always looked at that, looked at that the same way. Mm-hmm. And I've been Diddy Onassis because that's my real nickname in real life. And real I've been shit. Diddy Onassis ever since I made a game of tag or game or, or Bruh, game account. How you get that name Diddy Onassis though? Man, look, man, I thought I was going to rap. At one point, I thought I was going to be a little songwriter here. So uh, I, I was already nicknamed Diddy. I just put the Onassis. Where they end. get the Diddy from though? Going back to the roots, man. Not, not 1996. 96, you know, back when Puff, Puff and Mace came out with that. Well, uh-huh. Mace came out with that uh Harlem, was it Harlem World? Damn. Ain't nobody take my pride yeah. in my song. Yeah, and I don't know. I think I was Diddy first. Cause my partner Lil Q, Lil Quinn, my look, my cousin Lil Quinn started calling me Diddy and all it just stuck from there. It just stuck from there. They used to call me Maul Diddy. But where they get the Diddy from though? Like I don't know, you know, I, cause that, cause me and him was tight, and you know we used to argue all the time, cause we thought we was, you know, we thought we was some some pimps, we thought we was some Max, right? Mm-hmm. So I always wanted to be Mace, cause Mace had the, <laughs> in my mind, Mace had the swag, but he was like, no nah, man, I'm Mace, man, you did it. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Straight up, couldn't know what was happening, man. Yeah, so back in like '95, '96, <laughs> that's so it stuck from from way back then. It just evolved into Diddy, <laughs> Oh Ness. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 2000, <laughs> 2006, I put the old Nassis on the end. Yeah, where you get the old Nassis from? I just, it just sounded, sounded tight. Yeah, I like it, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> but back in those days, we used to get the highlighter marker and put, put our nicknames on our book bag, right, walking around middle school. You know, we thought we was fly. Like I said, we yeah. thought we was some pimps. Yeah. Some players, you know, that's how it was. But that's how that name Your came about, days. man. <laughs> good old days. Hell yeah, man. God damn, that was the good old days, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, sir. Well, not a, you can't go, you can never go back to them days, but man, I was just thinking about <laughs> I was in the I was in the Black Ops Street lobby. Not that I'm just going off into some other shit. I was in the Black Ops Street lobby last night, right? I was just mm-hmm. listening to these little kids. I was like, like, man, you could tell they was young. He was like, yo, man, get off my nuts. He was talking. <laughs> 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 He's like, you level 55, get off my nuts, man. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? I, and I started thinking to myself, as I heard him talking, like, yo, I'll never be that, be that age again. He had to be like 18 or 16 or whatever. Yeah. I was like, man, I'll never be that ignorant in yeah. that age and happy-go-lucky again, man, ever again in life. So you, can never like, eat, you can never eat those same fruits again. Yeah, so I couldn't even get mad at him. I was mad at first when he told me to get off his nuts. <laughs> That shit hilarious. Like, I got so old, oh, like, people crack me up with their insults. They crack me the fuck up. That, that shit be hilarious. Little, the little squeaker tell me to get off his nuts, I'd have died laughing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you a fucking squeaker. <laughs> Yo, I could, like I said, I couldn't yeah. do nothing but laugh. I was like, man, I was like, man, you got it, man. You got it. Yeah. He's like, hey, man. <laughs> Then after we um we put it on them dudes' ass, he's like, man, man, I'm sorry, man. You kind of cool, man. I'm sorry, man. I was like, it's all good, young buck, young buck. I call him like a young buck cool. now. Yeah, squeakers fucking cool. I call them squeakers like the squeakers. white boys do. Squeakers with their little squeaky ass voice. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, bro. Hold up. You get yeah, him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's better. That's better. Yeah, you good to go. Yeah. Yeah, like man. My mom, like my mom would say, I'm a vampire. I like sitting in the dark and shit. I don't be cutting lights on unless it's nighttime. I'm the same way. I'm the same way. Damn, my bad. I went off into this a whole nother space, man. That's all good. That's all good. <laughs> Cause we drinking. Did yeah. over there drinking what? I'm drinking that. Uh, I'm, I'm drinking a fine cognac, man. Whatever it is, man. Nigga, I'm drinking benchmark motherfucking whiskey. Cause I'm a cowboy, nigga. Hey, salute to the cowboy. Salute to benchmark. <laughs> salute to that. Salute to Mercer's bad. Let me take a take a drink with you real quick. I'm a traveling man. Hey, What's going down, bro? Salute. <laughs> I'm a cowboy. Mm. What's the name of that song? Oh, bro, I'm a cowboy. Yeah, Dead or Alive, Bon Jovi. That's my jam right there. Don't tell nobody that shit. <laughs> Who was that? Billy Joe? Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. I think it's Bon Jovi, if I ain't mistaken. 
Hell yeah, man. They don't know nothing about this shit. Salute to Bon Jovi, man. They don't know a goddamn thing about that. Is that the same? Is Bon Jovi the same group that made Loving in the Elevator? Loving in the Elevator? I know you remember that I don't shit. know. That might have been Aerosmith. I don't remember. That's Aerosmith. Yeah, Loving Me Up While I'm Going Down? Hell yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that was Big Mouth nigga, Jack, uh, d- 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 whatever his name is. <laughs> yeah, with the humongous mouth. Yeah, that was Michael uh, Tyler. Is it Michael Tyler? Yeah, was that his name? I was thinking like Steve Jagger or some shit. That oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I couldn't. Yeah, uh, yeah. Big Mouth ass motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Derek, nigga. Yeah, Big Michael Mouth Tyler. singer. Yeah, salute to him, man. I hope you. No, while I'm, oh yeah, cause the nigga, you know what? Cause I used to watch MTV. Yep. Waiting on your MTV raps to come on. Which, man, they ran that video in the ground, bro. Nigga, I used to keep that shit on waiting on MTV raps to play. Yep. So I was. That's how I got exposed to all this shit. All the rock, Guns and Roses. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Fucking uh. Yeah. Welcome to the jungle. It gets worse every day. Yep. Like this is the white boy rocking out. He said worse. Worse. Shout out to Axel Rose, nigga. Axel Rose, yeah. Metallica one. Darkness is visiting me. All that I see. Absolute horror. I cannot live. I cannot die. Like, oh my god. What? <laughs> you niggas go hard, man. I sampled that song too. I made a, I made a beat out of that bitch. It's on my mixtape. If y'all if they click on that link, they'll find it. Yeah. Check them out. Is that SoundCloud? This somewhere. Somewhere. And then, and then this bitch on that pill. It's on SoundCloud. It's in the universe. Find that. Yeah. What's the name of the song? I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> How about that? It's a <laughs> river. Find that bitch. It's a river. So that, man, while we talking about it, let's talk about your music career, man. If, if you want to touch on it real quick. Yeah, we can talk about it. Man, I, I've been rapping my shit ever since, nigga. I'm talking about. When rap, when I first found my first rap record at nine years old, LL, LL Cool J Radio, mm-hmm. I've been hooked on this shit. Okay. And by the time I was 11, like two years later, I wrote my first rap. Wow. In, in my mind, while my mama was in Market Basket, because I stayed in the car. While I was in the car, because I wanted to ride with her. She was going to Walmart, because I wanted to get the Big Daddy Kane tape. Gotcha. So when she was in there, I decided to. While I'm wasting time, see if I can make a wrap up. So I made a wrap up in my mind by Christmas. And nigga been spitting ever since then, bro. Damn. I had a, I had a cousin, dog, back when I was uh 18 years old. I had just graduated. He like five years older than me. He the nigga, when I was a young nigga, and all I knew about was Run DMC, LL Cool J, Fat Boys, mainstream niggas. My kinfolk from California ran away from home, real, t- real talk. But how many, how many people run away from home and jump on the airplane with all that shit and fly to Texas from California without their mama knowing? So he actually he actually went through with the runaway. Oh, he ran. He, he ran. Away. He ran away he big. He did it. In Louisiana, at my grandparents' house, which lived next door to me. He did it. And big. they said he couldn't. He couldn't keep his turntables over there. Okay. So he had to put them in my room mm. at nine years old. Was it nine? I think it was nine, ten, left something like that. And by three hundred records. All every song that was on Hip Hop Planet at the time, from like everything from the West Coast, East Coast, Deep everywhere, Creeps. Midwest, just everything. He had it all, so I was exposed to all of that. Just like I went from like knowing about five rappers to knowing about everything, so it instantly made me like a god compared to these other niggas that I was around because all they knew was the pop shit that I knew about and then down south shit. They ain't know nothing about what I was getting exposed to, and I studied this shit. I studied, that's all I give a fuck about at that point. It's hip hop, I love it. I studied every word of it. And uh, you know, it, when it you, made who I was, man. When did you record your first song? The first equi- official song that you can go back and play, play it back? Man, I probably was down. about, I think 14 or 15 years old. You know, that would have been like 1990. Wow. My same cousin. Uh, I had a dope dealing uncle. We went to his house. And we ended up, like, I think when he found out that I was rapping, and he got on the tape because he was a DJ. And he started DJing and he started rocking the beat back and forth. No instrumental. Play a little bit right here, play a little bit right there. And then we, like, we did a freestyle. We did like three songs freestyle. I was like 14, 15. Because before that, I was just keeping it to myself. I was just rapping to myself. I was shy or whatever, you know? Yeah. When that nigga found out we done that dub and, uh, yeah, it was on, man. I was a neighborhood superstar instantly. Because back then, niggas couldn't, everybody couldn't rap back then. That's See, right. like, now every nigga who smoke weed can rap. 
back then everybody couldn't rap. You it had to be nice. Like, you, it, you had to be nice could, for real. Yeah, if you if you could rap, you was like a superhero. Like, the average nigga couldn't rap. Right. That's that's the era I come from. Everybody learned how to rap when everybody started smoking weed. When that spirit came a hold of them, there's something about that herb, bro. <laughs> everybody mm-hmm. could flow on that herb. But before the herb was plentiful and everybody was getting high, I was one of the few niggas rapping. Damn. And then my same cousin who introduced me to it, back in like 94, he was fucking uh, doing boxing promotions and he ended up clicking up, this true story, you think I'm lying. He ended up clicking okay. up with, with Don King's daughter, her name Debbie King, and she started a record label called Maximilian Records in wow. 94. And he was the manager, and he signed me, and his other cousin that was in Oakland, Brand X at the same time. Mm-hmm. So 94, <laughs> I came on out, you know what I'm saying? I was Jay Smooth. Jason. Pull out a sink, yeah. Pull out a sink. Cool ass nigga. B side. Only out for one thing. Only out for one thing was supposed to be a single, but cool ass nigga. They they fell in love with it so much. It I shine. Only out for one thing in their mind, and that's what we ran with. You know, put out the single, and uh, legendary. I was already a legendary nigga coming from a small town. Anytime we would go anywhere to Lake Charles, yeah. or Vent, or Westlake, or Sulphur, or any fucking where, we was the out of town niggas. We was okay. already stars, but when I put out that album, I mean that that single, it was it was crucial. A, a mere two hundred dollars paid for a climb up the countdown to the number two spot, second only to Candy Rain. You know what I'm saying? What? I was on the countdown. Yeah, I was I was I was on the countdown, second to Candy Rain. Two hundred dollars paid for that shit. Damn. So it was payo. Yeah. Was it payo? Was it payo not? like a motherfucker, dog. <laughs> payo to the DJ. I didn't say it. Z16, the Lake Charles nigga. Yo, he me. went the fuck down. Snoop to the that payola, baby. For real. Payola still real out here. Don't get it oh. messed up. It's yes, still sir. real out it's here. It's gonna cost you a lot more than two hundred dollars, though. Oh yes. I bet you that. Yes, Lord. Once it once it get over a certain point, it's called uh, what is it called? Marketing. It's a marketing yeah, package it now. It's marketing. It's marketing expenses. Yeah. You know, shit. A nigga could pay me to play his shit on my channel. Hello. Hey. <laughs> that's, a, that's a fact. Come in. Come on through and <laughs> bless your boy with an introduction song. Let's go. Yeah, really? Right. But 94 me. was your first, was, was your breakout record. And you was how old at the time? 15? Now, by that 95, I was. No, you was 18. Came, I was 19 when it, and the shit came out. You know, 95. Right. But you know what? I realized after the shit came out, I had to work it. I had to fucking go do shows, go do interviews, signings, all kind of shit. Had to travel, do shows out of town. I'm like, man, like I'm an Aries. Like, you know how I roll. He got a beat, you got a march to the beat of my drum. So that fucking being a rapper shit, I wasn't with it. Cause I wanted to fucking do one thing and the rap wanted had me want to do another thing. Wow. So uh yeah, I I we fucking the cuz was like, bro, you don't even want to do this shit, huh? It's like, nah, not really. Like, fuck it, we stopped doing it. And I went underground with the shit. You know, I always did music, but I didn't want to be that commercial nigga. Like doing it for a job, having to go do this shit, perform. Like I want to live my life and do what I want to do. You know, I already had a life with my music included. I ain't want music to like fucking be my god and be and rule everything. Okay. So yeah, I said fuck the music to do me and make music underground. Okay. And been making it ever since. You know what I'm saying? I love the underground like a motherfucker. There you go on your own terms. Okay, salute to that, yeah, man. Exactly, man. Exactly. Salute to that, man. Oh boy. I Am I realize- long-winded, huh? Am I long-winded? Bro, I, I didn't realize you had uh, that type of t- those type of ties in the music industry, man. Yeah, it went down, man. That was way back as a young Debbie yeah. King. Debbie King, Don King's daughter. Real talk. Real talk. Hold on. What was the nigga name? Tommy Hearns, Hitman Hearns? Yes. He had a brother. What was his brother's name? Because she was cool with the brother. She had some rappers and he had some rappers. One of his rappers was the nigga had a song on the um above was it above the link soundtrack, above the rim. Above the rim. Death Row. Yeah. It was that song. I gotta get my motherfucking money right. Boom boom. Gotta get my motherfucking money right. You probably had to pull up the album to Rick because that ain't one of the songs you can probably think, remember. Didn't Death Row do that whole soundtrack? I don't remember. Yeah, it was Death Row soundtrack. Yeah. But, I uh, remember. I remember. Billy Hearn. No, Billy Hearns was his name. Billy Hearns. That was his artist. Oh, uh, the only one that I remember, not, I don't say I want to say I don't want to say it's the only one I remember, but I remember that Nate Dog, that that uh, Dog Pound. I was at the park one day. Oh, that's when I yeah, saw her I saw face. Baby. She looked kind of catty to me. me. <laughs> but hey. when I take her home, yes. I ain't done. 
Yeah. When that ass is gone, I'm, I'm just, just a dog. Oh. Don't blame me. That was yes, my sir. shit right there. Do I love, love them, them hoes? Hell, Hell no. no. And why's that? Because it's Snoop Doggy Dog. Because it's a motherfucking doggy dog. <laughs> and bitches ain't nothing but hoes and tricks. Yeah. Turn the fuck out, nigga. That's why I started smoking ha, ha, weed. Ha, ha. Did That's he why I started smoking weed. Because yes, the Snoop and them was so cool. They were so cool. And shit. <laughs> they was it. I wanted to be that fucking fun, nigga. Them niggas was having fun. I wanted to have fun, too. What are we going to do on the last day of school, Jay? Nigga, we gonna get high, nigga. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> that shit. Oh, man. Listen, if y'all miss the dope era of music, man, if you were born after 1996, For real. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Feeling me. 80, 88 was my favorite year. 88, 89, like before the 90s. Fuck the 90s. 88, 89, nigga, when Rock hey, and Rock Kim came. came. Rock Kim and Kane was the biggest thing ever. The Juice Crew. Fucking Oh, KRS One, yeah. yes sir. Gucci, fucking uh, what's his name? Cool G uh, Rap, Cool G Rap, man. Yes sir. Granddaddy IU. Mhm. Man, talk yeah. about it, man. Yeah, I'm from that old school, man. The original rappers, Melly Mel, niggas that inspired me. Mm-hmm. LL Cool J, Run from One DMC. Mm-hmm. Curtis Blow, that nigga was a pimp. Yo, shout out to my cousin, made me recognize why the Fat Boys was dope on their first two albums, but they wasn't dope on the third one. What happened with, on the third one? Because I don't even remember the They third stopped one. fucking with Curtis Blow. Curtis Blow, what, you know, Curtis Blow had them. That nigga was the shit. That's why I say when I do my comeback song, If I Ruled the World, yeah. it's going to be a remake of Curtis Blow, If I Ruled the World. Because that nigga had a formula, man. Them fucking goddamn uh, guitars and shit. Curtis Blow. Curtis yeah. Blow had the smoke, bro. Man, I, you know, that's still my favorite Christmas song. do, 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 do. Mm, mm, mm. Oh yeah, Curtis Blow made a Christmas mm, song, huh? Yeah, I got yeah. into the Christmas song. Bro, that's my favorite Christmas for song, real? man. I don't even like Christmas songs. <laughs> Christmas always been corner to me. Nah, for real. It's a pagan holiday anyway, man. Yeah. I'm God seed, bro. Even as a little kid, I knew something wasn't right about Christmas. Damn. You're right, though. You're right. I agree it's with that. Holiday, I agree with that. And fuck these pagans, you know what I'm saying? God got a special place for these bitches. You check this out. That Curtis Blow still was jamming on that damn Christmas, that Curtis Blow Christmas song, bro. Yeah, I don't remember. That, Dude, the Christmas song that I fucked with that made me write my first rap was that Run DMC Christmas oh, song. Oh, yeah, that's, that jink, was it Jingle Bell? Jingle Bells and Hollis Queens or something? Christmas Hollis. Yeah. That's why I wrote that shit when my mama was in market back and I was in the car. Burp, 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 burp. Yeah. I was pumped up. Here's what it's Yeah, Christmas and Hollis. Nigga, that the, the, the fucking, what is that, an organ or something? Man, I don't the, know. The, bro, that's, that beat used to go hard, bro. It just run my spirit up. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Back before you realized Christmas was bullshit, you was like, yeah, this. Yeah. Tears to season. And they was rapping about it all off my mind, man. Tears to season, man. God damn, what well, we can do a whole podcast about anything and everything, man. We could, bro. We could. <laughs> Let's talk about uh let's get back on the car train. Damn, what we talking about? I don't I don't even know where we at now, bro. You know took us, you know that music. You took yeah. me down the world home wor- a wormhole with that music. Let's talk about I when you first re- released your first independent release. Like, you know, I guess the technology had moved on to a, an era where you can just do it all yourself, put it out yourself. What was you the, talking about the music? The music, yeah. What was the first first album? That first album. Was uh, it uh, God? Ah, damn, not God. Uh, ah, I'm gonna miss the man. title up. Now, actually, probably, man, like the first thing I put out by myself, yeah, was an album called the "Fatherless Child." The fatherless Child. And I was, I went by the name of JDG. JDG. It was back in like 2005 or 2006, seven, something like that. JDG. Yeah, you know, before that. So you wasn't everything. rapping. You never yeah, rapped no, under no. uh, Merciless Badass. Oh, nah. That's just that. That's Merciless just, Badass was a game attack. Game attack. Yeah. You know? You kept it. I'm, I'm that nigga. I'm that bad. I'm the damn boy Jay, man. That was the niggas in Texas coming to damn boy Jay. That damn boy Jay got you. What, yeah. that damn boy Jay, though? That's why I get to that damn boy Jay, because that's how they address me. I'm Jay, but I'm that damn boy Jay. I get a title on that bitch. I ain't just Jay. I'm that damn boy Jay. And you see that? You see how the evolution of rap names 
or it's, it's a parallel between rap names and gamer tags. They always evolve as time go on and change. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. so that it's just that damn it's more, boy J. I respect people gamer tags more than they government name. Like whatever your parent, like that ain't you. Like who are you really? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yeah. Fuck these governments, man. And the slave name, you know, your last name that we get from the slave masters. We need to drop that shit, bro. We need to drop the fucking slave name, man. Straight Damn. up. I'm, I'm going to drop my shit. You know, I was... I might make my last name Ra. R-A-W. R-A-W. You Straight know, I always up. thought about disconnecting my my last name. Yeah, never spoke. that ain't nothing but a slave name, dog. I never That's spoke what we get out of the name about it, but I always, I, I I always toy with that idea ever since about three, four years ago. Maybe five, maybe six, man. I always thought about that. It's time but, to do it. But, damn, and you know... I told my sister this a few years back and she, she freaked she freaked out about it a little bit. I like that. You know, I'm gonna keep this to myself now, but hey, now the world know it. So hey man. That's what's mm-hmm. up. Yeah, you ain't gonna tell yeah, that's what's up, man, for real though. One day it was <laughs> Everything the slave master gave me, I'm giving it back. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, take your religion until I finish investigating it. You know what I'm saying? Take all this shit. Revelation 17 say this bitch gonna crumble, nigga. Man, you know what? <clears throat> now that we're on that subject, and I know we all over the place, bro, but we got I'm gonna talk about this. I know, like it was that point in time where I became so woke that shit scared me. It yeah. was like, it was like, I need to stop listening to I remember I remember you mentioned Phil Valentine. Phil Valentine was one. Um, damn, who else? Uh, Dr. Kawisi, that's the my man to be over there in Egypt showing you all the, the ancient artifacts. Professor, Professor Griff back back when he was with um, uh, Zaza about. Ali. I know what you're talking about. Uh, and with so many other people, I, man. Yeah, you, I, you can't hit that moment where you, you and become I was, so awake and you know so much shit that you can't get scared. I know. I was like, man, I gotta stop because it was affecting like, like the way I looked at everything. Work, all of that. You, it's supposed to. It's supposed to. Yeah, that job really ain't important. That shit important because it's necessary in this slave system that we're a part of. Gotta put them hours in. Cause you gotta get that money, pay them bills that rotate every 30 motherfucking days. That's right. why it's important. But at the end of the day, that shit really ain't important to us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's not important. We got to develop here. Nigga, we like a fucking, we have to develop and, and bloom a flower. Like we a bunch of fucking grass seedlings. You know what I'm saying? And, and some people gonna bloom a flower, some people ain't. If you don't bloom a flower, you're not gonna get picked. Right. Like in the Bible say, it's a harvest. He gonna come and pick the select few. Mm. The wheat gonna be separated from the tares. The tares gonna get thrown in the fucking wind. The wheat gonna be taken home, man. Mm. That's why we can't let fuck niggas get a sidetrack. Fuck bitches get a sidetrack. Fuck people get a sidetrack. We can't let fuck shit get a sidetrack from our main purpose here is to blossom our flower and goddamn get picked. And that's the GOT, man. Because I never disrespect my creator. Creator of the universe we live in. The right. Creator of the mathematics that govern our fucking world. Mm. It's deep, man. It is. But I didn't got scared before, but then I had to just bounce back and say, well, you know what? I ain't weird. even tripping. Maybe I'm crazy. Yeah. I just snapped a vessel because I can't even trip. This shit is a game. I'm laughing. That's why I say I feel like I feel like God. No disrespect to God, but can't don't nobody, don't nothing have shit on me. I don't give a fuck. If I am what I really am, and it's like I'm in a fucking fishbowl in the universe looking down on me, and I can't see them, but they can see me and they fucking with me and they know the future they've been there, but I'm still stuck here. I'm in a physical, yeah. but I'm really an angel. You know what I'm saying? Right. They can't hold me back, did they? Yeah. I will rise, man. I don't give a fuck, bro. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. We have to be not afraid to die mm. in the name of righteousness because the wicked gonna use fear to try to control us, to accept the mark of the beast. Dang. Nigga, if, did we take a detour in church? Who driving the bus? Hmm, who driving the bus? Niggas ain't wanna go to church. But that feel like did it at the end of the day, my main purpose, bro. Yeah. It's the reason why God blessed me with the, all the gifts I have is to at the end of the day, take the people whose attention I have captivated and tell them about the truth. You know what I'm saying? Tell them about some things with the Holy Spirit want to let them know at that particular time. Thank we just got to be willing to surrender to the Holy Spirit. And now I'm done being T.D. Jakes. 
<laughs> Fuck all that shit. Like, I don't even know. Like, that's the stages. Nah, like, man. when you start drinking, the first nigga get religious. Yeah. Then he get, then then he get, he get belligerent. Then he get, then he get belligerent. belligerent. Yeah. <laughs> First is happy. Ask me some questions, nigga, because I'm going there, bro. Yeah, first you get, first you get happy. <laughs> I told you, bro. I've been waiting to get interview. I interview myself every night, Snoop. then. You better come with it, my nigga. Yeah, man. I'm, <laughs> this, this, this. <laughs> I interview myself. This is not a joke. Man, look, I do it too. I'm waiting on somebody to interview. So, hey, man, when you want to come and talk about the car show on my show? Yeah. What made you want to start the what car show? Yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> what made you come up with that idea? Well, you know, hey, man. You know, I was sitting back one day. Captain you know. Jack. Captain Jack motivated Jenny. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. You're talking about uh, Combat Jack. Combat Jack. Uh, Combat Jack. I thought it was Captain Jack. Yeah, Combat, Combat Jack. Jack. Yeah, was, I heard you talking about it. Yeah, yeah I'll fuck with you, man. It was definitely Combat Jack, man. It was definitely Combat Jack, man. You know what? Then you gave props to me one time I heard you. Oh, yeah. With the, yeah. Far as with I coming with and you know, messing with the Call of Duty, uh, far as creating the channel, um, Wanted to go ahead and do all do my own content. Yeah, you was the inspiration behind no behind that. Man, that you feel know. great, man. Hey man, shit like that. salute to you, man. That's why I reached out to you. You get and you gave me the game about the game. You yeah, could have been an old. You, you could have been like you know an industry, industry person. You know one of them industry dudes in this Call of Duty community. Y'all know who y'all are. Be like you know just looked at the messages and ignored it. Yeah, yeah, I, I had to fuck with it. I checked you out, man. I was like, I dig my nigga. I, yeah. I like this shit. I like what you doing, man. Man, I appreciate it, man. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Where we at? I got to change scenes real quick, man. Let's pause. Yeah. And speaking about industry niggas, like, <laughs> don't, like, for like for real, though, mm -hmm. nigga, well, like, what you doing is so big for the car community. Like, niggas need to fuck with it regardless of what what they, you know what I'm saying? What they think that they could, eat, what they think that it could do for them. Right. Bitch, think about what you could do for it. Right. And, and what it could do for us. Right. It's some deep shit to get behind the scenes and get all up in the nigga face, all in the nigga underarms and shit. That's right. Like everybody needs to come fuck with. That's why I say nigga, holla at Black Ninja, man. Black Ninja gonna fuck with you, bro. Yeah, salute the Black Ninja. These niggas gonna fuck with you, man. Shout yeah. out to Ambush, bro. I still remember when I talked to Ambush in the microphone on the game and he asked me, Fresh and I start a channel. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him, but now he doing it. 2,000 plus subs. Yes, sir. It's out here, man. To be an inspiration, bro, this shit feel good. And I just want to let everybody know, man, if you can fucking believe it, you can achieve it. Start that motherfucker, man. That's right. Shout out to Jet Life. Shout out to you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? C4. Showing up. Yeah, C4 yeah. Show showing up. Yeah. Yes, sir. Elevated and escalated with it, man. Yeah. Shout out to motherfucking Fraser Boy came through already. OG Legend came before me. You know what I'm saying? Bro, we gotta support each other, and goddamn, that's how we gonna grow together, man. That's a fact. That's a fact. And I think that's a fact. Yeah. I think what people look at is like, oh man, he ain't got but damn fifteen hundred subs. So I, you know. But yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Fuck the bullshit, bro. It's about Fuck the bullshit. It's about documenting hey. your story. That's what I, I really, really exactly. strive to do. Document your if story and else. your grind. You know. If nothing else, send it to your mama. Say, mama, look, I mama, got interviewed. Mama, look, I got interviewed. I got interviewed. And you know what? Salute the Amanda Manic. Amanda Manic was the first person. She was like, yo. She was the first female guest. She was like, yo, I got all my coworkers. We piled mm. up at my house. We're going to watch this interview together. I was like, That's what? what's up. Bring your people with you. That's why I say when this shit go live, <clears throat> I'm going to start a stream and we're going to come raid this motherfucker. So yeah. shout out to everybody who in here right now who yeah. followed the raid. Yeah. And fuck y'all for you bitch ass niggas who fucking went somewhere else. You know what I'm talking about? And the real, yeah. <laughs> and the real thing about it, man, people have to understand like your real, your peers and your mama and your daddy think you just some weirdo sitting in the house playing video games. Believe in yourself, though. Come and show, come on the car show and talk about the grind, what you would, you know, your future plans. Put it out, put it all out there in the universe with, that you really, really out here creating content. You a real artist. You out here creating content. You're doing this for the people, you know, for the a greater good than just sitting here mindlessly clicking on buttons on the controller. Yeah. That's what the sh that's why I really, really created the Who show. Who are you behind the controller? This is like that's this right. is behind the controller type of shit. Yeah. That's right. That's why I had to do it, man. Man, I appreciate it, man. I People appreciate asking, hey, asking questions and shit. <laughs> Q and A. Man, fuck that nigga. We doing the car show, bitch. Yeah. I need to see everybody, man, with a channel come fuck with. Need to do jet life food, man. Jet Life, what up? Who did that nigga Jet Life, man? Yeah, I talked uh, to Jet Life. C4 showing up. C4 showing up. I talked to C4 the other day. 
Yeah. Yeah, really? Yeah, it's yeah. so many, bro. It's so many real ones in the, in, in, the, in the murder game, man, for real, dog. Yes, like, this is this shit right here. Man. Everybody do it. Right. So one, it eventually, we'll get to the point where everybody's going to be trying to do it. They're going to be calling you. Yo, man, salute every, salute everybody that's been supporting salute. the show from salute. day one, man. But enough about me, bro. It's about the murder show. Merciless man, Bang, ain't nobody, bro. I'm Merciless just like Bang. y'all, man. I'm just like y'all. I ain't shit. Let's talk about... Um, uh, so, some of you will break out. No, 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 let me go back. Let me rewind. When did you feel like you was a big dog in the Call of Duty community? Not t- Call of Duty community, but at the game. You were good at the game. When did you realize you were good at the game? I ain't. That's the thing. I ain't shit. <laughs> I ain't even good. I ain't even good. I'm good at fooling niggas. <laughs> like, real talk, when I started my channel, niggas, in the beginning, in the end of AW, I was a 1.15 KD at the best having ass nigga. 1.15 shit. That's Playing on a big screen TV, no headphones ass nigga, don't know shit about best class setups. I wasn't even watching YouTube videos. I ain't no shit. I didn't start to begin to get good until I started playing Black Ops 3 and I got a monitor, a headset, some control freaks. I start playing with the headset on, start playing hardcore in Black Ops 3. Nigga, that's actually when I started my, my journey to begin to become what you call good. Okay. I don't even know if I could call myself that now. I could definitely shit on some Timmy's. Yes, sir. But, uh, you know, I, how you want to call it? Hey, I guess, you know, a nigga all right, a nigga he all right. said I'm out here fooling. I'm all right. <laughs> I can fuck with you fucking Swiss if I feel like it, but I don't I, I don't like to fight that hard. I don't like to, I'm out here to have fun. Man, you I'm out here to have fucking fun. I've I seen like to find Timmy's. Some I've niggas seen. be looking for three man parties to fight against. Hey, you want to play some GBs, bro? No, bitch. I want to slap the spit out of some Timmy's mouths. The fuck wrong with you niggas? <laughs> sweat ass niggas. Hey, I like to slap Timmy's, bro. Yes, sir. But have I slapped some sweats? I have. Some I've slapped that. major sweats. I've slapped pros. Yeah. I've slapped big YouTubers. Knocked blood out of their nose. Like who? Hey, we ain't got to say no names. You already <laughs> know who, my nigga. You already know who. <laughs> hey yo, that one thing I ain't gonna never do is say a nigga name, bro. Hey, salute the you. You said yeah, you, ain't you gonna fooling. say niggas' names, bro. You saying you salute to the people. niggas I didn't shit it on, man. <laughs> salute to everybody. Hey, mercy. Hey, salute to the niggas who just shit it on me with got twenty seven views on the video. <laughs> hey, beat merciless badass. <laughs> nah, bitch, if anybody knew. Now, now that that is a thing. These uh, new YouTubers are. If, you know, I know. They're looking. They're looking to make a video, but it ain't if like the old days. The, if they can be the YouTuber who got more subs than them, they feel like they can like. Right. Uh, what's that Mortal Kombat character who like sang songs who like take over your fucking soul? Oh, and, like, uh, absorb your soul and yeah, take yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. They feel like they can come up. That's why yeah. if I catch a nigga in my sights and I whoop him and he got a name, I'm gonna plaque him. But check. Man, I'm gonna put his face on the thumbnail. Yeah. Love or not love. I'm gonna plaque your ass. That's how the game go out here. Yo, but check this out. For the new up and coming YouTubers, it's not like the old days when you can finish an individual career. It's so many people out there that's, that's streaming and making content on YouTube, Twitch, or oh, whatever. Yeah. Nowadays, it's like, all right, you you won the game, but you know, who, who you actually, can't finish nobody's career, but you can get some attention. You can get off some of attention it. off of it, yeah. You know, like, like for example, I the same bitch ass nigga saying, "Oh, I beat pro." Hey, cause pro the shit you trying to get is fucking off of his name. Yeah. That's why if you got a name, they're gonna try to use your name. Mm-hmm. Like if I when, I when I be swag, of course I'm gonna plaque and put it in the thumbnail. Cause hey, he bigger than me. Hey, look at me. Yeah. I be somebody that's bigger than me. Yeah. That's some timid shit. That's some timid <laughs> shit. <laughs> that's timid fucking shit, bitch. Got 57 views on the video. Yeah. Talk about I expose merciless badass. Expose these nuts, nigga. <laughs> You still ain't shit. You ain't shit the day before. You ain't shit the day after, nigga. You gonna die, a piece of shit. Oh shit! Fuck out of here. What they tuned in for? Shout out to my people, man. Yo, we out here, nigga. Mercy. So sad. <laughs> All right. I did it. Tell these niggas I kill their ass, dog. Yo, you chill out. What you got next for me? You a real Call of Duty killer, though, man. I'm not gonna lie. You saying you fooling people? You fooling us, man? I know you. You rocking a two or better in most. Since BO3, I know you rocking the two or better in each card that came out. Definitely. Don't let the KD fool you because I be going for camos. Right. I'm definitely a two something nigga. Yeah. I'm definitely a two something nigga. I just go for the camos. And, yeah. You know, we can go ahead and call you a sweat. 
certified. Hey man, you know, they want to call me a sweat. I feel like that's a compliment. It's Nigga, a compliment. Call me a it sweat. is. Yeah, yeah, I ain't even tripping, bro. You supposed to take take the head off. Show, I, I'm damn sure I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, that, I'm not that nigga that's playing and not trying. Unless now, nah, sometimes, sometimes I be going for a challenge. Right. You know what I'm saying like old bitch ass nigga who try to fit. He try to fucking parade his victory. <laughs> I beat you in war three weeks ago. Bitch, with your stupid ass don't realize I was just in there to get sniper headshots, ho. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Fuck out of here! <laughs> Fuck! You gonna edit that out or what? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> let's talk about. It. Let's get back into it. What your Call of Duty career? As far as YouTube, when did you make that first video? When did you make that first video, man? <laughs> hey, man, I'm proud to say, bro, my first. All my videos are still on my channel. What you is? Go to my channel right now and go back to the first video, okay. and you'll see that video you mentioned. Where all I have is a cell phone in the garage talking about. What's up, world? Shit, bar mercy, the bad ass. Well, out my I outro, all that shit I said for the first time uh-huh. in that freestyle intro to my channel. And it stuck, right? It stuck, bro. It, it stuck. was real shit. It stuck. It, uh, murder, murder time, me. Everybody in my house sleep. It's time to play the game. There's no interruptions. There's no interruptions on the internet. It's murder time. It's time to kill these niggas online. And that's how that's where murder time come from. Because it's the murder show. Why? Because I'm killing shit. And, Shout out to Spice One. And you made that video before you had any recording equipment as far as game oh, yeah. capturing oh, yeah. equipment. Mm-hmm. What year was that, bro? Was that 15? How did, I think it was the end of 2015 whenever AW was in his last couple of months. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I didn't have shit. And, but I had just watched the uh, Netflix special, The Secret. Mm. So I understood the science of manifesting shit in the physical starting with your memory and what's you that to, you had to start it's called the secret the secret okay yeah it's, you know it's about that's you ever heard like people say if you want to if you want to get a lamborghini then put a picture of a lamborghini in front of you in your cubicle so you see it every day and then you'll achieve it or okay. if you want to earn a hundred thousand dollars a year write it on a piece of paper it's so you can see it and visualize it because anything right. that you visualize will end up manifesting like we are the masters of this physical. Right. Everybody don't realize that shit. That's a fact. That's a fact. You are you manifest. Like, I've been with the same girl I'm with right now since 2002. Two weeks before I met her, I prayed to God because I had just got through fucking with a girl that had four kids. Right. Okay. Four little boys, and I had before then I had never fucked with girls that had kids. I wouldn't fuck with them. After after dumping her because she was too much going on, I said I prayed to God. I said, you know what God said. Send me a girl that got no more than two kids. Okay. And and let them be girls, not boys. Cause this this chick had four boys. And they was fucking hell. I was like, I can't do the boys. Send me a chick with no more than two kids. Let them be girls. Two weeks later, I met the girl I'm still with to this day. You know what I'm saying? Same girl, hot grabbed her hand, married her up to God about two weeks after after meeting. Her, right there in the bed. You know what I'm saying? You don't need no preacher to have a covenant with God and your old lady. I married her, you know what I'm saying, right there in the bed. Been with her ever since. I prayed for her two weeks before she showed up. She manifests because I prayed for it and I thank God for it. It didn't show up in my life. So be careful what you ask for. I asked for a girl with no more than two kids. She had two kids and it was both girls. It was exactly what I prayed for. Wow. So, yeah, exactly Damn. what I fucking prayed for. Salute to that, man. Salute yeah, to that. And I, I think that's a real thing. Every, like what you're saying, if you visualize it and you really, really concentrate on it every day because I used to have a board I have a board Con- I call it the content content list mm-hmm. I have a list of names a list of it's almost like a schedule of what I want to do for the week or the month or for the year I keep the yearly plans or the in the monthly plans in my phone but bi-weekly by week break it down by day Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday what I want to do what I want to try to get comp- uh, completed I call it the content list and your name is on the list and a host of others, man. Yeah. Damn, I can finally check your list off as far as this particular interview. That's what I'm finna say. You can finally check that bitch off, Von. I can check it off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the real nigga in me wouldn't allow me to not do this shit with you, bro. Man, I appreciate it. I'm, I'm too real for that, bro. Wow. How can I not show love back to a nigga showing love and a nigga doing good content, man? And doing something that the community need. 
man. I appreciate that one. Really, indeed. Ain't nobody interviewing us. Nope. You're the only one interviewing us, man. Shout out to you. Watch how they fucking follow. Watch how they follow, nigga. It's, it's already. Watch how they follow, bro. It's already. I want to help you fucking get to the I want to help you fucking do that. And you Watch. know, it's already you happening. You're going to be the first nigga I ever raided. I ain't ever raided nobody to this point. You're going to be the first nigga I raid, bro. Man, you know what? <laughs> I'm a raid. When this shit go live, I'm raiding you with my whole gang, nigga. 250 Yo. plus niggas, bro. We mobbing. Let's go. 30 or 32 of them going to lay back. Fuck them in their ass. We coming 200 plus, though. Let's get it, man. 200 plus. And we, as soon as, as, soon as you hit the button, Y'all be tuning in. You gonna hear y'all gonna hear us talking about raiding. This is gonna be crazy. So the 250, you already know. Welcome to the COD Show podcast. Welcome. Salute Thank y'all for being here. Salute I y'all. appreciate y'all fucking with us. Yes, sir. And damn, I, boy. <laughs> Take your time, man. Hey. There ain't no motherfucking rush. Hey. My son don't get off the bus for another hour and a half. Ooh. All right, bet. All right, so that first video, you had no recording equipment, no, you know, no equipment. iPhone. iPhone. So you. I had a so YouTuber you, who had over a hundred subs. Shout out to Naughty Mongo, dropped the sub on me off an of iPhone video. I thought I was just shit. Like, wow, he's really a real YouTuber. Damn. Nigga, all the way in Australia, ended up making me my first channel banner and shit. Like, they, like I knew I was gonna fucking do it when I got 15 subs off my cell phone videos. Wow, and that was way that was way back in 2015. 2015, yeah, when AW wasn't nobody fucking with it, and I didn't even know because I wasn't on YouTube. I didn't know that the community hated, hated. AW. Yeah. I liked AW. I didn't even know that people hated. Damn. It wasn't until I started my channel and I'm like, damn, why I ain't getting no views? I started looking at YouTube and I'm like, oh, nobody's fucking with it. They only concerned about Black Ops Three. So then I could formulate it in my mind, like, how can I do a Black Ops 3 video? Mm -hmm. So I done a Black Ops 3 video entitled, uh, How to Play Black Ops 3 Early. And I basically just told people to set your fucking settings in your PS4 to tell it that you live in like some foreign ass country, whatever country I forgot. England or the East. Yeah, whatever it was. Even though it didn't work no more. Like when the PS3 first came out, you could do that, but it didn't even work no more. But I told them to do that. And I got like 2,500 views. That's the first video I ever did that got views outside of my subscribers. I got 2,500. I only had less than 100 subscribers. Wow. So I'm like, okay, I got it now. And then BO3 came out and uh, I was trying to get some good gameplays, but my I was tripping. I wasn't recording shit, all kind of shit going on. And then I ended up, you know what? I'll just do a video on unlocking profits uh, specialist gear. Yes. Because that's what I'm working on. And just so happened to be that that was some hot shit that people were searching for because it was hard to unlock Prophet's gear. Yes, sir. I had been playing with Prophet since the beginning of the game because he was black and I'm black. Exactly. So I just click, click, clack. That's why I was playing with him. Prophet. So De- Destiny just had it that I was the first nigga on YouTube to unlock Prophet's gear. So I had to come up with a strategy to get that shit done. And that's how my channel jumped off. And I realized that, yo, this video popular, so I've done it for all the specialists. And that's how my channel, that's how I started getting noticed, man. Cause I did content on some shit that was highly searched. It was some hot shit. Yes, sir. You gotta make videos about some shit that's hot on the market. That's how I got noticed, man. Dang. Shout out to the motherfucking Prophet and all the BO3 specialists, man. That's what did it for me. And you know what? That's when I, that's when I think I, I subscribed or tuned in during that time, man. Yeah, them videos got promoted. And yeah. I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell motherfuckers a secret because I'm a real nigga. Them videos got a lot of promotion because they was highly searched, and also they were super short videos. Some of them was just three or four or five minutes. Yep. But because they were short, by the time it got to the end, everybody was still there. So my viewer retention rate was very high. And when you got a high viewer retention rate, your video gets recommended to a lot of people because that's like one of the highest metrics that YouTube values is your viewer retention rate. How long do the average viewers stay on your video? Mm. So that was that was a secret, man. Do short videos. They're going to stay there till the end. YouTube going to promote the shit out of your shit. Damn. That's what happened. That's what happened. Unlocking Profits gear. And you know, I'm going to pull that, pull that video up now because I, went, I definitely went back and checked it out. 
you know, even though I didn't complete the challenge or whatever, mm-hmm. it was like, all right, <laughs> I want, I want to unlock the gear so I can get these camos, the outfits or whatever, and you know what I'm saying. So, and you took right. it, a, you took it a step further from unlocking uh, the gear. You went on to do a series called like not, I don't want to call it a series, but I guess you created a how to unlock hero gear. Yeah, that was the second character. step. That was the second yeah. step. Mm-hmm. So the hero, like, was that hard? I know that took your channel. Oh, yeah, from, it I, was hard. Like, each one of those videos probably took three or four days to get completed and get the footage for and make the video. Yeah, it wasn't easy. That's the thing. Like, in the beginning of my channel, I was smarter. I was doing the shit that was hard, knowing that it was a race. Because, you know what I'm saying? It, that's, it's, it's a race, bro. That's why you see with a lot of like when shit come out and call of duty world, everybody doing the same video because it's race. Yes. I knew it was a race. That shit paid off though. I got lazy after that and I just wanted to do what I wanted to do. Just make a regular gameplay video. That's what most like people want to do. They just want to make a gameplay video. That is the smartest thing for you to do. The smartest thing for you to do is what's the fuck is the hardest thing to do. You know, like right now, World War II got the crossbow in it. Yeah. This shit is ass though. Yeah, it is. Smartest thing to do would be to drop a V2 rocket with the crossbow. Uh-huh. That'd get a lot of fucking views. You know, as opposed to, you know, going ham with the ribby rollers in my best class setup. You know what I'm saying? Anybody can do that. Anybody can't fucking get a V2 with the crossbow. Mm. You know, anybody can't. The sooner you can jump on some new shit, the better. I don't even know why I'm letting secrets out the bag. Because the game is sold, not told, and these niggas ain't paid a dime. Tell them. Be sure to patronize that super chat and that motherfucking donation button. Fuck with us. Salute to salute to you for giving up the game about the game on the COD Show podcast. I'm your host, Diddy Onassis, a.k.a. Onassis Kill Him. I'm here with the murder show, a.k.a. Kill. Merciless Badass. Kill he him. just gave us the blueprint of how to get your YouTube channel from here to there. All right? uh, uh, I like how you said that. Man. Took the words right out of my mouth, bro. Get your man. shit from here to there. Man, I appreciate the game, but you t- And nobody gives a fuck about your gameplay. You better have some good commentary on top of that shit. Exactly. That's Real what gets talk. you through. And you know, like I always say, commentary is very necessary. It's so important. Um, It's a dying art, though. It's only a few, because I always ask people this question when they come on the show. Do you prefer streaming? No, streaming versus uploading content. Streaming. Me, must. Me myself personally, yeah, I like consuming videos, a good commentary, 10 minute, 12 minute, whatever yeah. commentary over gameplay. That's what I like to consume. As a creator, I'd rather live stream than create a video because it's more fun. I can sit there and play. But like, for example, right before I got on live with you, I done a commentary over my, you know, uh, Black Ops for uh, blackout hard fails and I put a commentary on that bitch it's fucking dope like I understand people will people will enjoy your commentary better sometimes because you can condense some shit everybody don't have all day I don't have all day right right I love I, I'm, a, I'm an old school nigga I don't give a fuck about the world I still love a good commentary I yeah. don't have all day to watch people live stream. I'll click on your live stream and I'll be there about 10 minutes. Yeah. Then I got to move on. Yeah. I got something else to do. You know what I'm saying? I can't sit there for hours. If I could, then I, I, I it probably would. Like some motherfuckers is fucking funny. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I, I, I enjoy a great commentary and, and it's a, it's an art to it, man. Everybody can't do it. But if you can't, don't strive to be like anybody else. Just do your own thing, and it, it's gonna work out yeah. for you. Just do it. That's right. That's right. Do your own thing, man. That's what a lot of people don't realize. You ain't, you know, copying somebody else might get you a certain level of success. But when you be an original and you just do you, mm-hmm. you'll be surprised how you can move mountains with some shit that you can create it that you wouldn't even thought would have been the shit. Yeah. Until until your people start feeding back, and I like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, it's easy to just fucking steal and reproduce. That's easy. And you can even find success on that. But if you were created and then add to the game, we're supposed to add to the game, man. 
Yes, sir. It's so beautiful when everybody just add and they don't give a fuck about what's going to be successful. They just do it for the love. Exactly. But unfortunately, it's money to be made here. So a lot of people do this shit for the money and that affects what they do. But do this shit for the love, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's gonna be much better. In the long run, it's gonna it's gonna pay off, bro. It's gonna pay off. Like a nigga will remember you forever for being yourself. Right. Even right. though you might gain some quick monetary gain from imitating somebody else. They're gonna soon forget about you. Cause you just a carbon copy, nigga. You plastic. The real niggas they gonna remember forever. Damn. The game. Commerce is bad ass, man. Be original. Salute to all the great commentators out there, man. All and it's, it's back in those days. That's what we had. Cause streaming, I mean, that was an art. That I don't want to say it was an art. That was something that everybody couldn't do at the time. But now everybody ain't able. We don't don't have yeah. the equipment. Don't the equipment, have the knowledge. The knowledge. To get shit done. Yeah. Now a lot of people back. Now it comes on the system, so you can do whatever you want to do or whatever you need to do. Yeah, <laughs> live stream straight from your console. Straight Ain't no excuse. That's console. how I started live streaming. Straight from the console. Straight from the PS. Okay. Mm hmm. So you put how, how long does it take to edit one of those videos? A twelve minute video. Bro, honestly, it, it depends, man. It, uh, it all depends, you know. Like it, I just done this black eye hard fails. I got like four or five gameplays in it. But mm -hmm. just the amount of time that it take to get five minutes of a 20 minute video to process because you just put in the last part of it to get it like i've been fucking with this video for like since weeks ago okay i had i put like it, it, it take a long time man sometimes it could take a long ass time sometimes it could take like the shortest that it takes to do a 12 minute video might take you two three maybe four hours to do everything put the clips together commentate it export it upload it Put the SEO, make a thumbnail. That should take two to four hours, easy. It could take more, depending on how, you know what kind of shit it is. You know what you're doing. Wow. Yeah, it ain't easy. It That's ain't why easy. a lot of times I choose to just live stream because live streams be most successful. You get more views, plus you get your viewers supporting you with super chats and donos. Yeah. You know. You finish the live stream with 3,500 views plus super chats and donos as opposed to a video that would have got 2,000 views. Mm -hmm. Simple mathematics, man. The live stream is most successful. That's why I don't really fuck with videos too much anymore. But I know a lot of people still fuck with it. I still, I, I enjoy yeah. making a dope ass video because I know it's an audience of people who ain't got enough time or bandwidth to fuck with a live stream. What? So I enjoy giving them some content to fuck with. Listen, man. Like, I was telling, uh, I don't know if you remember, you know T Clean, the homie T Clean. I was talking to T Clean last night, and I was like, man, you gotta have a good mix. You gotta have a good, have a good mix. Some people are 60, 60, 40, 60% 60 stream, 40% content. Mm -hmm. uh, some people are 100% stream. I, mm -hmm. I try, you know, I try to break mine up, even though I'm streaming my show. I try to break it up, man. Have clips. I might butt mess around and do the news one day. Um, That's what's gonna hit. And then I, I might just stream the show, but I'm just trying to mix it up with the hate mail. You gotta mix it up. You gotta mix it up. Every, you know, because the one thing I didn't realize till somebody told me. Yeah. Everybody don't have the good enough internet to be able to even watch. Watch a stream. Oh, right. I'll stream or however how long it won't never finish like downloading or, or like it won't finish spinning, won't finish processing. They can't watch it. It'll buffer yeah. the whole time. Yeah, 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 yeah it'll buffer forever. Yeah, so you gotta do videos for the people with the shit internet. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Salute to y'all that's struggling with that internet, yeah. man. And the people with ADD, they don't have attention. The attention deficit disorder, yes. that shit is real in society. Yes, sir. Like even when I was contemplating my comeback song, I'm like, man, I was I was thinking, I ain't gonna never drop the uh bass line until the third verse. But then my nigga sister said, these niggas drop that bitch in the second verse. Cause they ain't gonna be gone before the third verse. <laughs> this, this, this generation, they move fast. You ever notice these new rappers, they songs be how long? Three two minutes, minutes and something, something seconds. Two minutes, yeah. Yeah, two minutes one, and something, something one seconds. One verse in the hook, a long hook, or two long hooks and one two verse. Hooks, I mean, two verses, two short verses, two quick hooks, they out of there. They out of there, out on of to there. the next one. Yeah, it got short attention span. So it's good to do live streams for the people who like live streams, 
But you gotta make some shit for them people who moving fast. They don't have time. Yeah. And you know what? You in pocket, man. You do a, you have a good mix, man. You slayed Appreciate us it. like two weeks ago uh-huh. with that World War Two video. The uh the too many, too many too paratroopers. paratroopers. I gotta make a song Mom, out of that. I'm shitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hell. I'm giving I'm them giving hell. Them hell, nigga. <laughs> That's my video right there. That was my best game ever, bro. Of all time, any cards, that was my absolute best oh, game man. ever. And I got that bitch while I was live streaming. It was absolutely beautiful, man. I loved every minute of that shit. Mom, yeah. I'm shitting. Mom, I'm shitting. <laughs> you know how kids be calling for toilet paper they can't even wipe their own ass because they proud? Yeah. Hey, mom, I took a shit. Um, shitting on these niggas. <laughs> Yo, 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 hold on. Give me one second. We're going to talk about that gameplay. I got to pull this up. Hold on. Let me go take a quick piss. Hold on. All right, bet. Merciless digging into the spawn. Yeah! Digging in and getting it on. A panther. Pouncing and bouncing. Shitting on these niggas right now, huh? I'm telling you, son. Shit. Definitely murder time, huh? Talk to him, nigga. Merciless badass. A terrorist. Yeah, you see the spawn, bitch? Get back in it. Get back in it. Brutal. <laughs> Another set of paratroopers. A madman. Another bombing run. Another fucking ball turret gunner, my nigga. Another one. It's another one. I got another one. Drop it out of the sun. Oh. Two minutes. Are you fucking kidding two me, son? I got two minutes. Two, two minute paratroopers. Wipe me down. Hey, mom, I'm shitting. Nigga needs tish. Damn, I want to get I want to get in the ball turret again. But I'm going to get another set of troopers. I got to call these. Man, man. this nigga now. greedy, man. Pace yourself, merciless. Come on, now. Ass, Merciless badass. His third ball turret in the game. Working the overpowered commando ordnance escalation proto class setup. Fuck with me. So savage. Ruthless. Welcome to the murder show. Yeah, nigga. It's murder time. Talk that shit, Bill! If you don't know, well then you do now. <laughs> see, see, I could have, I could have two more sets. They could have been, you know what I'm saying? Greedy. I'm mad. So ravenous. With an appetite for destruction. Unstoppable. Picking up packs and turning niggas into packs. Am I cheating? Look at look look at this. Picking up all these ordnance packs. Look at all this shit. I'm finna pick a ball turret up off the ground. Off the ground, nigga. <laughs> nigga, this shit is stupid. I got another one. Ah. Uh, that's why I should name this video, nigga. I got another. Call that bitch in then, son. And we still unstoppable. Can you say overpowered class setup? They must have all backed out. I think they can say it now, nigga. We out here, nigga. Oh, it's hard out here on the nigga head, ain't it? Lord. Somebody get this nigga help. Have mercy. Jesus. Hell. We going hell. Lord. Nigga, fuck that. I'm going swine. Are you serious? I got another one. I have another one. Four ball turrets in one game, nigga. Are you serious? Am I fucking still flawless right now? Am I still flawless? Nigga, this is pure punishment. Hell! Pure punishment. You give it them hell, nigga! A savage. You know what old bitch ass nigga gonna say? <laughs> Anyone can pub stuff in pubs. Dude, I'm glad you sung that shit with me because uh, 
I was feeling like niggas wasn't feeling me. Like, that's my jam. Too many paratroopers. Too many like, paratroopers. Niggas don't even be feeling me. <laughs> like, 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 it must have... You must have like, went over their head. I don't even vibe to this shit. Like, I'm gonna vibe to my shit. I feel it. Oh, shit. that was you sing- singing too many? Yeah. I thought that was Nigga, a sample. I, listen, I put chords and shit and everything on there. Like I did overdubs on the shit. Like I really sung that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I thought that was a sample. Too many. Like, no, you know, nigga, I sung that shit. <laughs> like, I like, That's why every time I'm streaming and I go to call in some paratroopers and they can't come in, yeah. I start singing it, bro. I be fooling myself, man. <laughs> fooling my fucking self. Man, Snoop. <laughs> I mean, I you killed, you killed like, that. Damn, don't nobody never, because you look at the chat expecting people, you want to see some people repeating what you said or something. Yeah. Two minute prayer troopers with a laughing emoji. I never saw no feedback on the two minute prayer troopers, not in the comment or nothing. I'm like, damn. You thought they wasn't messing I, with it. Yeah, I appreciate you fucking fucking with it because I don't give a damn. Nobody fuck with it. I'm going to keep on singing. That's yeah, my man. shit. Bro. You know what? That's I, my theme song. Two minute prayer troopers, nigga. You know when you, folk come out. when you dropped that video, I was, the, I was, you know, I like to comment as I watch. I was like, <laughs> like, uh, what, what stood out to me the first one? Uh, damn. First of all, the the African hunting music is always hilarious. Oh yeah, I put it through the whole video. When huh? you were chasing home, boy, you were like <laughs> a, oh, hunter, you know about a hunter. Black video? A hunter. No, no, when yeah, you was uh, yeah, 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 a hunter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't remember what you were saying. A savage. We're gonna pull it up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blank the screen out. We're gonna pull it up so everybody can see it. See a yeah. couple minutes of the video. A hunter. A gatherer. <laughs> <laughs> he knows his prey. <laughs> Talk up, tell what you say. Tell him about it, Bill. Yeah, talk to him, Bill. Bill and Doug, <laughs> bro. That was just man, just me fucking high one day. Fit like you know what? I want an MLG commentator to commentate my gameplay. Yeah. Hello, everyone. This is Bill Blubunski. Welcome to the Murder Show. You know how they be talking. And yeah, shit. yeah. And it was just I wanted just an MLG motherfucker to commentate my shit. So I I fucking did. You created myself. one. Yeah, uh, and then man. I like how they go back and forth. So I made two of them, Bill and Doug. Bill and Doug. <laughs> <laughs> Can't uh, be talking to yourself. You gotta have a, you gotta you have know, a partner. You, you gotta have somebody. You gotta have a wingman. Yeah. Hey, do Doug, man. Do Doug. Doug, see, Bill is the one. Bill. Hello, everyone, and then Doug. <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is Doug Blunsky. <laughs> Welcome to the Murder Show. You here with Doug? Yeah, sometimes <laughs> I forget who the fuck is who when I'm commentating this shit. <laughs> oh, my name's Bill. Bro, sometimes I listen to them old videos, I be dying fucking laughing, man. I, <laughs> I swear that shit don't be scripted, bro. I just be high, just fuck whatever to come out my mouth, man. That's what come out. Yo. And full of that look. Yo, that's it's, that's... it's it's a certain concoction, bro. If I can't get on the right level, I ain't gonna do it. Whether it be a commentary or your show. If I can't get that proper buzz going, I ain't uh, even gonna do it. You ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. Everything <laughs> I do, I do it with a buzz, nigga. With a buzz. Yo, salute the Doug and Bill, man. Doug yeah, and Bill. Yeah. Nigga, salute the buzz. Yo, the way the way you <laughs> did that video, and the video that we're talking about, for those of you that are just tuning in, we are here with Merciless Badass, aka the murder show. Uh-huh. YouTube's finest. We out here. We're talking about his video that he dropped. A couple of weeks ago called the most overpowered class setup in Call of Duty World War II. <laughs> That's a nasty class setup right there. Man. You don't need to play with nothing else. Like for your last week of World War II, if you ain't playing with that class setup, you ain't even playing right. Yo, the way you drop the, that commentary, and this is what I'm talking about for those of you that don't understand what I'm saying. Com- this commentary was the true a true example of creativity you are a real artist out here. Everybody cannot do this. It can't be duplicated. You had your Appreciate own it. characters. You were speaking. You were you, but you were you as a live streamer talking to you. And it was deep. You peeped that, huh? Yeah, and you were you. You were Bill and Doug. And damn it, you were like that. You had the African. I let a few. You had Bill, a Bill, the corner camper, Tyrone. Tyrone, I mean, little, Air, little Airroy, Billy the Corner Camp, I think was in there. You had some little Timmys in there. Yeah, I had several characters in that bitch. Yeah, oh, I let them all man. out, and I was commentating myself. Yeah, yeah. So That's you was look, you was viewing yourself. You was like, oh, <laughs> why, <laughs> man? I'm shitting on them. 
<laughs> Talk to him, son. <laughs> yeah, I was feeling myself. I mean, that's what I'm telling you, dig. I get loaded and I play my video and I sit there and I feel myself as I commentate. Like this fucking uh Black Ops 4 uh epic fails that I just recorded. Like when we get done with the vid with the live with the with the interview, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the upload. Wow. But as I got full nigga and I sit here and just commentated, bro, they gonna love that one. Y'all love that one, don't you? Because you're gonna hear it by the time we get to hear. Yes, sir. That, yeah, I can't wait till you hear it. I did that one, nigga. Man, salute I to even that. went back and listened to it and I lowered my voice. Yeah. This one person in one of my old videos said, he commented one word in the comment section. Uh -huh. <laughs> loud. I know, huh? I'm a loud ass nigga. Yeah. I drown out the gameplay, so I even mixed the volumes and everything right. Should be a dope video, man. I expect this bitch to go viral. Oh man, I'm, man, I can't wait for you to drop. You dropping it today? Oh yes, sir. Oh okay. yes, sir. Okay, I have no idea when this episode is gonna come out, but know about it. Check out Mercer's Just Bad Just that, that we recorded this shit the day I dropped the epic fails. The epic fails. That's right. Yeah. Man, I love sitting down and talking to talking to someone with a, a huge uh, history of content because there's so much to talk about, man. And for those of you that are viewing the, the COD Show podcast, I'm usually not this all over the, all over the place, but we were merciless badass, man. We 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 trying to cover it all. We just vibing and having a good time, really. We're not and, even on no schedule. And let them know, did it? We all been this, up I can all throw night. It. Oh yeah, we've been up all night. Yeah, working, grinding. Yeah, you know what I'm saying we ain't yeah. had no sleep, and we both jumped on liquor. Yeah. And we having a funky good time, nigga. We're having a good time, man. Salute yes, to you, Yes, sir. Man. Nigga a... would happen to trade in his fucking life to be us right now. I'm telling you. Man, salute to that, man. You, you hit me up this morning. I was like, murder. Bad. My nigga was sleeping. My nigga hit me at 7.30. Hey, man, try this. Yeah. Fuck these niggas for the merch. Yes, I sir. say, okay, Diddy, you up? I was up. I say Diddy up. I say Diddy know what's up. He know I'm thinking about doing the show today. So an hour later, I hit him back. I was up, man. You sound like, no, you was asleep when I hit you. No. Nah. You was asleep when I hit you, though. No, nah, I was up. I you was... answered that phone quick, but your ass was... I had, I, had I, had the phone in my, I had the phone in my hand looking through some emails. Okay. You was ready to lay it down, though. Yeah, I was ready to go back and get another hour of sleep. Yeah, I was, too, but you know what I'm saying? I I just I just, I just, just broke it down to myself yesterday. Like, you know what? Yeah. Your time to get shit done is 7.30 to 2.30. That's right. If it don't get done in them a.m. hours, probably ain't going to get done. I realized that. I'm like, you know what? I got to rock with it. Even though I'm not a morning person, I have to rock with that because that's my time, bro. Yeah. That, you know? Man, salute to that. Appreciate that. That call this morning. Cause I got up, I was like, you know what? Let me get my ass up, man. Early bird catch the worm. That's yes, a known sir. fact. Cause I, yes, sir. I was actually up at three six thirty my time, which would have been five thirty for you. But okay, yeah, I hopped up at five forty five, my nigga. That's when I got up out the bed. I slept for an hour and a half, bro. Wow. Yeah, savage shit. I'm gonna it. go to sleep in the middle of the daytime today, like five o'clock. They don't understand YouTubers, bro. I'm gonna crash in the middle of the fucking day. Probably do a live stream tonight, midnight or some shit. Okay. We're probably not. I'm gonna hit him with this video and I'm gonna cheer. Damn right, man! I can't wait to see that. I'm gonna get the notification. Soup to the notification yeah. gang. Well, where we at yes, with sir. it in your Call of Duty career? We're talking about. We talked about Black Ops Three. We talked about the videos that jumped off the channel, your YouTube channel, which was the how to unlock the the uh, the gear and the the uh, camos for the particular Black Ops Three characters. And we also mm -hmm. talked about the hero gear, which was a major key. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about Infinite Warfare, man. What you thought about Infinite Warfare after Black Ops 3? <clears throat> man, I like Infinite Warfare a lot better than BO3, to be honest with you. It had a good time to kill, which BO3 had a shit time to kill in core. So mm -hmm. I like Infinite Warfare way more than BO3. Right. I still play this shit to this day, you know? Still to this day, I jump out there. Infinite Warfare. Oh yeah. Infinite. Oh, yeah. oh man, you know what? I'm skipping something. It's such a smooth card. I'm skipping something. We're gonna have to go in reverse. Who's that? We're gonna take it back right. to Black Ops Three. Uh huh. The Corner Campus Exposed series. Yeah. Tell us about that. How did you even get that idea? And what that first video? How did you come up with that idea, man? 
Man, that's easy. I was just I was just talking to myself about this the other day. <laughs>